welcome to the Nisha Jackson Show. Today, we are going to talk about how to do emotional freedom technique. And I'm pretty passionate about this. As I told you in a previous show, I use this technique to help me get over anxiety that I was having after a drowning incident in Cabo. And it's extremely effective. Linda Miner is here with me today. She happens to be my sister-in-law. We have worked together for many, many years, specifically using this technique that I believe is one of the most powerful tools that people can use to move emotions that are stuck. So if you had um, a, an accident, a car accident, you had an abusive father, you had a bad marriage, you had a, a child that had a health condition that, that created some kind of emotion in you that caused you to start behaving and acting and developing thoughts that probably took you down the wrong path. This particular technique is something that you could learn to do with Linda and start doing it at home that would be valuable not only for the current problem that you may have, but for many, many years to follow with anything else that might come up. I like this tool because A, it's not drugs that have side effects. B, it's very effective and very timely in its effectiveness. And C, it doesn't take six months, one year, two years of talking about it, mulling around about it. It is very quick and usually somewhere between three and five sessions to move through an emotion that feels stuck. So that's in my opinion, what are the kind of like my definition, what emotional freedom technique is. So today I thought what we would do is Linda would actually do the technique on me. And we're gonna be offering this in our medical clinics and Linda is going to be offering it via televisits. Uh, because we want people to be in their own home or in their own comfortable setting so that they could have this technique and be um, quieted down a little bit and very comfortable. So Linda's gonna start offering this. I really believe in it. And I just thought we would give you an example today of what this technique looks like. And we're gonna use one of my lifelong problems. I've admitted this on previous shows, but I'm gonna admit it again, that I come from a really long, a chain of sugarholics. I love sugar. It's terrible for you. It reduces your immune system. It causes depression. It's extremely addictive, addictive as cocaine. But I still love it. So I, I really try to I really try to work on this every day. But some days are worse than others. And people really suffer from this because they beat themselves up when they kind of go crazy on sugar. So I just thought we would use a very common problem that people have and have you watch Linda perform this technique on me for sugar addictions. All right, Linda, go for it. Okay, thank you, Nisha. So let me ask you, you're craving for sugar. What, is there a specific type of sugar, right? A specific candy, uh, what is your like go-to? Like if you are craving sugar, what is your go-to sugar fix? I would say chocolate. Okay, so, and when you think about chocolate and um, think about having a piece of chocolate, it's not a piece. It's usually like a big cookie okay. or a yeah. brownie. Something that, it's not a okay. piece. It's not a piece. <laughs> so if you, right. And so even just thinking about having that big brownie, let's say, that is just, right. How would you tell me what, how high that intensity is of that craving? So zero to 10, zero being, I don't have a, a any craving at all. I could take it, leave it. No big deal. 10 is like, it is off the chart. I need to have, go get that brownie. Well, I would say if I'm very stressed and I haven't eaten in, in a long time, I would say the intensity is probably an eight or nine. Okay. Uh, if I have been eating well, which I really try to do every day, uh, and I'm not overly stressed, like overly emotionally and mentally taxed, I would say it's a two or three, like I can handle it. Okay. So there's definitely a connection between being exhausted mentally and emotionally and sugar cravings, I, right. I believe. Yes, definitely. Because right, we we want to calm ourselves. Right. And so sugar can be that go-to right. fix, right? To relax and calm and, you know, get rid of those overwhelming thoughts. So when you have that sugar craving, do you, 
notice any physical sensation with that? Um, no, I can just visualize, which is awful because that this is all part of the problem is I can visualize what it tastes like. My mouth is watering. I'm thinking about it. I know that if I have it, I'll instantly feel better. Even though I know I will feel worse in 30 minutes after eating it, I will feel substantially worse than I do going into it. I'll still have it. I mean, but I don't keep it in my house. So like, I actually have to make it. Which is even which is even worse because then you have the whole you have the whole pan. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Okay, so let's do this. So let's. Um, so you said an eight. If you are like stressed, you're having that brownie craving. It. You said it's an eight, right? right. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start at what we call the karate chop point. So right here at the very soft, fleshy part of the hand, we're just gonna start tapping here. So, and I'm gonna have you repeat after me, okay? And you said that too, when you're having that craving, you're feeling some overwhelm, some stress? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna have you repeat after me, Misha. And these are acupressure points. Yes, these are acupressure points. And we're gonna go through several different ones and I'm gonna go ahead and just direct you to those, but we're gonna use our fingertips, okay? okay. So I'm gonna have you repeat after me. And as always, if the words that I am saying are not landing for you, they don't feel true for you, they don't feel just, you know, it's not quite right, please, jump in and let me know the words you would choose okay because okay. this is about how you are feeling okay All sounds right? good so even though i am feeling so stressed right now even though i'm feeling so stressed right now and all i want to do is have a brownie and all i want to do is have a brownie I'm salivating. <laughs> salivating. I, I can picture that brownie calling me right now. I can picture that brownie calling me right now. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Honor how I feel. Honor how I feel. And this craving. And this craving. Even though I really want a brownie. Even though I really want a brownie. I really need a brownie. I need a brownie. I know that brownie is going to help me feel better. I know a brownie is going to help me feel better. And it is an eight. It is an eight. And I can feel my body and I can feel my body craving and really wanting this brownie. Craving and like really no wanting this brownie. Nobody is gonna stop me. Like no one's gonna stop me. From having this brownie. From having this brownie. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Honor and accept. Honor and accept. How I'm feeling. How I'm feeling. And it's okay. And it's okay. Even though I really want this brownie. Even though I really want this brownie. It has not been a great day. It's not been a great day. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I really need something for myself. I really need something for and myself. And this brownie fix is going to do it. And this brownie fix is going to do it. But I know. But I know. That after I have the brownie. After I have the brownie. Or several brownies. Or many brownies. I'm not going to feel so good. I'm going to not feel good at all. But I really want that brownie. But I really want that brownie. And I need that brownie. And I need that brownie. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love and accept. Love and accept. All of me. All of me. Even this brownie craving that even, I have right now. Even this brownie craving that I'm having right now. So Nisha, we're going to go with two fingertips. We're going to go right to what we call the eyebrow point. So right at the start of the eyebrow. And again, I'm just going to have you repeat after me. This brownie craving this brownie craving we're gonna go to the outer corner of the eye this brownie craving this brownie craving I'm gonna go right under the eye I really want this brownie I really want this brownie and under the nose I really need this brownie I really need this brownie under the lip this brownie craving that is an eight this brownie craving that is an eight I am really driven to I'm go make a batch of brownies. <laughs> I am really driven to go make a batch of brownies. We're gonna go right below our collarbone here. I really want this brownie. I really want this brownie. I really need this brownie. I really need this brownie. Now we're gonna go under our arm right about where the bra strap crosses the ribs. 
I really want this brownie. I really want Nobody's this brownie. Nobody's going to stop me from having this brownie. No one is going to stop me from having We're gonna this We're going to go the top of the head, right around the crown. This brownie is going to make me feel so much better. This brownie is going to make me feel so much better. And I'm going to have you just take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Now, when you think about having this brownie and um, needing to have it right now, where would you say that number is at now between zero and 10? It's funny because about the fourth pressure point that I was hitting, I think it was here or here, I didn't want the brownie. Yeah. And that does not surprise me that Which happens. I'm going to say is kind of bizarre because <laughs> <laughs> I love brownies. <laughs> so here's the great thing about that. Yeah, you're right. It's like it works, nobody's going to stop works. you, right? Nobody's going to stop you from having the cravings. And half the time it's already in our mouth before we even think about, I shouldn't have done that. Right. It's so automatic. Whatever our drug of choices, right? To right. fix and to calm us. Um, but the great thing is that's exactly what the tapping does. Yes. In that short amount of time, which is one round, um, your craving was reduced or completely gone. And again, that is, I hate to use the words magic about it. And granted, we only tap for a little bit on an initial craving, right? Getting to underneath uh, uh, some of those habits that we have. Um, that we're not very conscious of, we just do them, um, can take some time. Right. But that is the wonderful part about it. Because cravings could be related to feelings of inadequacy. I didn't get enough done today. I'm going to reward myself. My mother always rewarded me when yeah. I was good, and this is my way of doing it. I mean, obviously, there's all those emotions connected to it that yes. are, are deep-seated. It's a mixed bag, for sure. Right. Um, yeah, lots of things underneath it, which is what we really, that's the whole goal, right? Is to find out what the root or what is at the core right. of that um, so that so that you can begin um, m making the better choices for yourself that you are wanting. Yes, that's so cool. And isn't it wonderful that there could be something that you could learn to do with Linda in three to five sessions on something you're struggling with, it, whether it be fear-based, anger, flying off the handle, cravings, not sleeping at night because you can't turn your brain off, whatever, whatever emotion that you have that you feel is stuck and you can't move it, that's what this is about. This is about tapping into a problem that you're experiencing, identifying the intensity of it, maybe finding some connections to it. And then like Linda said, layer by layer, removing it so that you can get rid of it and again, become your most beautiful self. So thank you for joining me today, Linda. Thank you, Nisha. And thank you for listening to the Nisha Jackson Show. Stay tuned for more information on Linda and working with us at One Peak Medical. You can go to my website, nishajackson.com, and also takebrandx.com. We'll see ya.